If you are looking for a PC that's not only great for gaming but also for productivity work, content creation, AI development and a lot of other things, on this video I will show you the perfect PC build in my opinion that you can get for multiple tasks. And don't worry if you are a beginner because I will explain everything as simple as possible and I will also explain to you what this PC is capable of running both for gaming and productivity work. So any doubt that you may have will be answered in this video. You will have the links to all of the components I will mention in the video description. That being said, let's start. So for the CPU, we have the i5 13600K. I absolutely love this CPU for productivity work and also gaming. It has six performance cores and eight efficient cores with a total of 20 threads. If you are new, don't worry about these numbers. This CPU is going to be great for every task. I personally have this same CPU on my rig. And as you know, I'm a content creator. So I use it not only for gaming, but also for my work. And it's gonna be better than the Ryzen 5 7600 or even Ryzen 7 7700 or 7700X regarding multi-core performance. Then for the CPU cooler, we have the Thermal Right Peerless Assassin 120. This is a $48 CPU cooler that's going to be way more than enough for this i5. A lot of people think that you need water cooling for good temps. That's simply not true. This CPU air cooler is going to be way more than enough to keep your temps down. Then for the motherboard, we have the Astrock Z690 Extreme. This one has Wi-Fi, a ton of features for both gaming and content creation, and it has excellent audio quality, which is going to be important if you're going to be plugging your headphones into the motherboard which I do recommend if you are a creator. Then you also get four M.2 slots, so if down the line you need more storage, trust me, you will have plenty of space for that. Then for the memory kit, we have the Team Group T-Create Expert 32 gigs of RAM kit. This is 2x16, meaning that it's dual channel, of DDR4 at 3200MHz CL16 memory. It's really cheap, just for $50, and you're getting 32 gigs of RAM, which should be enough for every task. However, if you're a professional content creator, you may need 64 gigs of RAM, but in that case, case you would know and you can always upgrade the RAM down the line. Then for the storage we have the P41 Plus 2TB of Gen 4 SSD going for 70 bucks. Honestly great drive here. 2TB should be enough for any task. However, once again, if you know that you need more storage, you can either buy more storage right now or do it in the future when you're running out of storage. Then for the graphics card we have the Gigabyte RTX 4070 going for $600. This is one of the most important components on a PC especially for gaming and the reason why I did go with Nvidia instead of AMD it's because of the content creation and productivity work performance it's going to be much better than AMD yes if you want to do just gaming AMD is better in terms of price to performance but if you want to do AI development video editing the RTX graphics cards are usually going to be the better option the RTX 4070 is excellent for 1440p resolution and if you want to edit videos there's no limit you can edit videos at 4k with no issues as well but for gaming at 1440p is excellent on a 13 game average on high to ultra settings it was able to manage 126 fps which is really high for 1440p gaming you can also play at 4k 60 plus fps on average and depending on the game and the settings you can actually play at 4k high fps especially in easy to run titles such as valorant or csgo these titles are going to be easy in any resolution and you should be getting more than 240 fps on average even on the the highest settings and if you want to play high demanding titles if you play at 4k you can always turn on dlss which is nvidia's upscaling technology that way you get better performance at higher resolutions at 1440p you will not need this since 1440p native performance is going to be really really fast if you got lost with my words basically i do recommend you buying a 1440p resolution monitor if your main goal is going to be gaming but if you're going to do content creation a 4k monitor is actually recommended and you can always game at 4K with DLSS on or even in native resolution depending on the game and the settings. Then for the case we have the Montec Air 903 base. This one is only $65 and it comes with 3 pre-installed fans and a whole black aesthetic. I absolutely love this one. Honestly, it has great airflow and the price is really decent. This whole PC is a black themed build. If you want RGB, I will leave those alternatives in the description. So don't worry, you're also covered if you don't like an all black build. 
and also if you want a different case because maybe you don't like this one there's another case called fractal design meshify 2 light in my opinion this one is one of the most beautiful cases out there on the market going for 88 dollars so it's a bit more expensive but in my opinion it's nicer however it really comes down to your preference so i will leave that to your own eyes and last but not least we have the power supply i picked the corsair rm 750e this is a 750 watt 80 plus gold power supply 80 rated excellent quality you will have no issues with this one and since the rtx 4070 is power efficient you will be saving some money on the electricity bill considering you are getting a high end pc usually pcs at this price point consume much more power but this one not so much and you may be wondering about the prices. Well, the price for the PC with the Montec Air 903 is $1448. And the price for the PC with the Fractal Design Meshify 2 case is $1471. So in terms of prices, the difference is not as much. So just choose the one that you like the most. To recap, you're getting a system under $1,500 that's gonna be excellent for any task that you want to run. Remember, you are getting an all-around system here. But if you're looking for just gaming, you want to get a different system that's going to perform much better than this one in terms of rasterized performance. For that reason, I recommend you watching my video about the best PC builds of the month in the top right of the screen. Believe me, that one is much better for gaming, but it's not gonna be as great as this one in terms of multitasking, productivity, work and content creation performance if you have any questions about this pc build or any pc build on the market or maybe even a private pc let me know in the comment section i will try to reply as fast as possible thank you guys for watching thank you for the support and i will see you on the next one